Hey guys, and welcome back to Crow Country. This is episode six, I believe. So, when we last left off, we were exploring Neptune's area, which was kind of interesting. In fact, they didn't call it Neptune's area, did they? They called it Ocean Kingdom. Yes. Now, let's go back in there after we've unlocked a few extra little Brucey bonuses. Now, we need to actually open this uh, this crate that I have been ignoring all the way through. It's a large wooden crate. I can hear something breathing in there. Oh, let's open that up. Nothing happened. Well, we're not gonna worry about it too much. At least, not just yet. So, let's have a look and go into the restaurant. See what we can find in here. Well, looks like we've got some gas. Oh, got another phone call. Well, before we worry about that, let's disable all the traps. Oh, I say, <laughs> as one of the traps falls on our heads. One second. Let's try that again, shall we? Right, you're done. Now, where was that? There it is. I don't think there's any nasty gribblies in here. At least there isn't at the moment. Don't worry about the phone. We'll get to the phone in due time. All right. Tolman's records. Tolman's records, eh? Okay. Boss has begun experiments with the pool. He attaches a key to a long chain and slowly lowers it in. He waits 25 seconds and pulls it back out. It's changed. Too long in some places, too short in others. It's the wrong shape. Ha, huh, the pool. We're hearing a lot about this pool. And we have a soda machine back here. What was Tolman doing? Hmm. Well... Let's have a little look here. Hello. The worst part is I never really wanted the gold. I didn't really care. It was my father who wanted it. He made the decision to buy the land. Years later, when he died, he left all of Crow Country in my care. I had no choice but to come back, finish what he had started. Wait, the theme park originally belonged to your father? No, Crow Country is the name of the land. This land. Ah, so there's something more going on with the actual land itself. Alright. We have some shotgun shells in there, but we don't need them. There's also more shotgun shells there. Okay. It's a statue. Fruit of friends. Good to know. Pay attention to that statue, because we need it. Anyway, Neptune's Palace Birthdays. Have parents place gifts inside the treasure chest. During the meal, give the trident to the child. Sea monsters will turn towards the trident. Whenever they're facing the trident, they will sing. As long as the trident isn't too far away. If all four are singing, the chest will open. The child can now take the gifts out of the chest. Note, the sea monsters often get stuck and don't rotate properly. Just give them a tap and it should set them off. Yeah, so this game really does... Unfortunately... Give you all the answers. There's very few puzzles in this game that are left up to you to decide how to get through. Um, there's also another thing here. Can we get the code for the front door change, please? It's far too easy to guess. Is it, uh, to guess. Is it the factory default or something? This is a security concern. So this is referring to this door here. Uh, the door that we couldn't use to start off with. Um, we couldn't get through the other side of the door. That's why we had to sneak around behind. But, one, two, three, four. Factory default. That's just going to help link this place up a little bit. All right. So let's see if we can't get all of these facing the right direction. 
like so. Okay. Now, there's no keyhole. There isn't. Something's holding the lid shut. So, let's see. Come on. Come on. Oh, that one's not. Right, this is sort of awkward. Right, you need to be really close to that. Here we go. So if we stand here with the trident, that one's going to open the chest and give us the small key. We finally have the small key. Now, remember I said that that stack over there, the stack of uh, fruits and vegetables, oh, it's just fruits, I think. Yeah, important. Grape on the bottom, then lime, then uh, we have pineapple, and then on top there is strawberry. Now, if we remember that, we go to the soda machine over here. The cup is empty. Strawberry sunshine. So what we need to do here is um, emulate basically what we have seen. So we need groovy grape. Then we need luscious lime. And then we need... I like the way um, they don't mix in the cup either. It's kind of odd, but we're not here to question these things. Pineapple punch. And strawberry sunshine. The cup is full, but I don't want to drink it. We're going to leave it then. So, it's a chalkboard. Mr. Crow keeps extra treasure maps in the wooden um, biro in his lounge. That's good to know. Alright, so I suppose we should probably go back to his lounge then, shouldn't we? Um, let's go. That is the wrong way, because of course it's the wrong bloody way. Oh, now we've got Gribblies. But it looks like, yeah, we've got that Gribbly. Yeah, so if we open up those boxes and we don't need them, they disappear. The stuff that's inside disappears. Ooh. We saw that. We saw that. And what do we have here? 2106. Curious. There we go. Hello. Now, we needed to open that for this guy to come out. This guy is another optional boss. So let's reload the shotgun. Now, I say he's a boss. It's kind of giving him a little bit too much credit. There we go. He's gone. Not quite sure what the hell that thing was, to be honest. But he's dead now. <laughs> That's all that matters. Right, there were some shotgun shells through here, I believe. We do want to keep topped up. Let's go back to the lounge. So there's some shells there. Now we've killed him, we'll drop a save. Just because we did it without taking damage. He's not that dangerous. Now, that grape soda thingy gave us a code. 8891. Now, it opened the map of secrets. And what that does is allow us to overlap the secrets onto the map. Remember I said there are 15 secrets to find? Yep. They're now all illustrated here, which is quite nice. Now, there is a secret all the way back into the park entrance. Now, if you remember, there was a car there that needed a silver key. So, seems reasonable that there's going to be something back there that we need. So, let's go and grab that first. We'll equip the handgun. Yeah, I thought as much. This place is going to be absolutely crawling with enemies. And I don't really want to be fighting my way through it, to be honest. There was something else through there, wasn't there? Let's shut that off. Uh, 
Okay, I thought there was some hangar bullets or something back there. Right, let's open that back up. Okay, so we'll go to the car later then. Let's have a look through here. Silver keyhole. Right. Did we get the map here? Uh, there was a map on the wall. I can't remember if we grabbed... Ooh, hello. I don't really want none of your business, sir. I'm going to be honest. I don't really like you. Stinking this place up. Not going to lie. All right, so... Not sure what that's for. Not yet, anyway. Let's... Oh, hello. Uh, hello. Sorry for barging in. I should introduce myself. I'm Mara Forrest. I'm looking for... I like the purple. What is that? Dyed? Must be. Doesn't look like a wig. When you're finished talking about my hair, I think I might need your help. I'm looking for Edward Crow. Yeah, I bet you are. You must be Tolman. I must be. What is it, Marvin said? You were the root excavation guy? Correct. What's root excavation? No idea. Hmm. You know, you're not being very helpful. Correct. The park is closed. Duh, I know. So go home. I can't go home. Sure you could. Just get in your little car and drive away. I'm sure that guy you saved would appreciate it. Arthur? You know about him? At least he had the good sense to get injured once and give up. Hmm. Tolman, what are the monsters? The monsters? Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. No, it's just... Trust me, Mara. You don't want to know. Hmm. Can I turn on the elevators from in here? The elevators are broken. No, they're not. They're just pretending to be broken. Hmm. So where's the switch? Let's see. If you can work it out on your own, fine. Well, he's not being very helpful, is he? It's a big metal tank. A piece of Tuesday. Isolated for examination. A metal cabinet. Is that a music note? You don't feel like helping me find the elevator switch? I do not. Right. Okay. So, looks like we've got some serious puzzles in here. I say serious puzzles. That's not exactly, uh... Too strenuous. Tolman's records. March 21st, 1989. Guests are appearing almost every day now. We can't save them. They're, f they're too far gone. But I want to know where they come from. I found a number marked in blood on the ground. 2106. It's not a code for any of our locks. It's not a code at all. Hmm. Interesting. It's a radio. The sound is horribly distorted. Probably because the aerial's been cut in half. There's a bottle containing an antidote. Take it or leave it? Well, I guess we'll take it. Alright. It's a metal panel. Crow con uh, country. Elevator power grid. The lights are all red. It's a keyboard. This thing's pretty cool. I'm jealous. Here we have some notes that we can play. We have 1350, 1912, 1937, and 1945. It's a television. It's just showing static. There are four videotapes resting on top. Hmm. Hindenburg. Titanic, Plague, Hiroshima. Alright, well, I mean, let's watch some videotapes, I guess. 
a small fire broke out in the port side just ahead of the port. Hmm, kind of looks like a sea, doesn't it? Okay. One witness on the starboard side reported another fire behind the rudder. Okay, so we have C. Let's have a look at Titanic. How easily a man's grandest ambitions are undone. Well, that looks like an A. So we have C, A. The iceberg was first spotted on the cold, moonless night that was April. Uh, 14th, 1912. They say it could have been avoided, were it not for a man's inclination for hubris and panic and blunder. Mm -hmm. Now, if we look at Plague, 1350. A Litany of Time of Plague by Thomas Nash. Rich men, trust not in wealth. Gold cannot buy you health. Uh, physic himself must fade all things to end are made the plague full swift goes by I am sick I must die that's a nice little thing now notice that that is the earliest time 1350 and it's an F so it's reasonable to assume that that's first so we have F and we have A, which was the Titanic, which is the next in line. F-A and Hindenburg, which was C. F-A-C. So whatever this tape gives us, it's probably the final letter. Look up as you are, passed over by the heavy shadow of the B-29 bomber. But in an instant, it is lighter. It has released 10,000 pounds of cargo. Yeah, not great. And of course, the final letter is E, face. Okay. So, let's play this. So, if we push F, A, C, E. There we have it. Kind of an interesting little puzzle. I'm not really sure why the calendars are there, highlighted. Uh, it's pretty obvious <laughs> um, that 1350 is before, you know, 1945, but okay, game. Right, okay. <laughs> He's not going to talk to us. The cabinet's open. There's an elevator. There's a lever inside. And now all the switches are on. I solved your stupid puzzle. Be honest, you loved it. Well, I mean, he's not completely wrong. I solved your stupid... Right, so Tolman isn't exactly going to be helping us here, but we have turned on power to all the elevators. Hold up. What is it? Don't go down there. You'll regret it. So be it. Well, we're going to be going down there, and we're going to go and have a little look at and see what you bastards have been cooking up down there. So, 2106 and 2106. There seems to be a bit of a theme. So, we can go through the lounge. We don't really want to go through the lounge, though. I kind of want to go all the way back. Hmm. You know, let's go back to the... Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, friend. <laughs> Do you like that? There's something quite funny about that. All right, let's go back to the arcade. Hopefully. There's no gribblies in here because we can use the key, the silver key in here. And we can restore power. It's open. There's a button inside. Oh, yeah. We now have full power. This is excellent. So, we need to get five points on the Mermaid Quiz Trophy to actually get a uh, trophy. There we go, Mermaid Quiz. Let's have a little go, shall we? Mermaid Quiz. It's an arcade game. Which area of the tongue is used for tasting sweet things? 
Um, the tip, the middle, the sides. Hmm. The tip. Correct answer. Next. What caused the extinction of the dinosaurs? Volcano eruption. Correct answer. How many countries are there in Europe? Well, I should probably know this one. Uh, but it's 34. Correct answer. How many planets are there in our solar system? Um, well, that would be nine. Unless you subscribe to the mysterious Planet X theory. What is the highest grossing film of all time? Isn't it? Yeah, it is E.T., I think. Hey. Get a score of five or more on the Mermaid quiz. Yay, so we've got an achievement there. I guess I haven't done this. <laughs> I've done it on my ally, but I guess the save hasn't synced. <laughs> what is the uh, approximate population of Earth? Four billion. Hmm. What is the approximate? Isn't it like eight billion now? Well, it can't be eight billion because that's a uh, cat. Excuse me. Well, let's go for 5 billion, because that is the correct answer. Although, I'm pretty sure it's actually the wrong answer. <clears throat> what kind of food should you eat the most each day? Probably not milk, yogurt and cheese. Um, I mean, let's go for bread, cereal and pasta, which is absolutely not what you should be eating. Uh, most of each day, but I guess they like carbohydrates around here. What is the tallest building in the world? It's the Sears Tower. Correct answer. What caused the extinction? Oh, we've already done this. I think we're looping around now. Um, I don't think you actually get anything if you keep going. I think it just keeps getting round and round and round. Um, right. So, what we need to do here is we need to reset the mermaid machine. Now, I forget where. There we go. Right, so what we need to do here, we need to get one correct answer on this so that is five billion there we go now we also need to get two points on dolphin dash it's an arcade game jump to pop the balloons dodge the spike balls okay so we just need to get two okay and then we need to get four points on speedboat. Four points on speedboat. Where is speedboat? There's speedboat. Steer the boat to collect the stars. Okay. How freaking cool is this, though, by the way? This is sick. So we've got four points on speedboat. And then we need to get eight points on shark shooter. This arcade is fantastic, by the way. This is such a cool little addition to the game. I wish more did it. Shark Shooter. It's an arcade game. So we've got to shoot sharks. That is not a shark. Or maybe we've just got to shoot anything. Not entirely sure. Shoot. Oh. Shoot the fish. Don't shoot the skulls. Got ya. For some reason, I thought we had to shoot sharks. I'm getting the skulls confused. Six, seven. Come on, baby. 
Ooh, that's a big fish. Eight. Right. There. That should be... Everything. Right, so... Everything. Now, look at what's in the change machine. Something in the coin slot. It is a data disk. Security access. I don't need to bother with this anymore. Excellent. All right. Well, I mean, that was fun. The air is coming out of the table. Unfortunately, you can't do much with this one. It just kind of bounces to and fro. Uh, I don't think you can actually play it properly. Right. Hold to charge and release to throw. All right. Let's try it. Come on. Let's get a basket. There we go. Woohoo. A three-pointer. Now, we don't want to touch that. Claw machine. I think it's working. Right, let's have a little go. Let's see if we can't grab ourselves something. I don't think I actually managed to get anything from the claw machine last time. I don't know if it's even possible to get anything from the claw, to be honest. All right, let's try it. Come on, baby. I don't know if uh, Mara likes these cuddly things. But anyway, let's head back because we're, oh my, on 27 minutes. So we have got ourselves a data disk. Now, that on the floor there that looks like a large med pack, that's not a large med pack. That's a very explosive, nasty thing that we are going to avoid like the plague we also have an enemy here which we're not going to worry too much about because we're going to go save the game so we have one of the data discs that we need which is pretty badass and we also have the shotgun we also have the um silver key which we can now go and get some more goodies with but this is going to end our adventure and this is going to end the set unfortunately as much as I'd like to sit here and play more in fact I'm going to sit here and play more I'm going to sit here and probably finish the game however I won't be recording it because <laughs> uh, Gabby's going to be coming home from work very very soon but I hope you've enjoyed this game up until this point this is a rather more slower paced thorough look at the game I like to think um yeah, I know some people like to see, you know, people just run through and collect everything, and that's fine, but that's just not really the way I like to do things. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.